quickly show you how to do a multicam uh, not multicam edit but how to sh show you how to do these uh, like if you want to use separate sequences and that are out of order inside of a inside of another sequence. So in other words, say I'm, like I I when I shoot a wedding, I'll if you look over here, I'll do like I'll separate everything out. So ceremony, ceremony nested, ceremony sync. That's where pluralized synced it. Um, and then like introductions, dances, uh, toast dances, toasts, synced. You know, bouquet garter synced. Stuff like that. Whenever we, whenever I do a a wedding, I do all the two camera editing separate on separate um, sequences. So, for instance, when I get done, I do the doc edit. When I do the documentary edit, I basically just give them the entire ceremony. Here's the entire ceremony, and then introduction dances, toast and synced, all the way through the end. Then ending credits with them leaving at the end. See the see that you can see the video. There they are coming up, and then they're leaving at the end there goes my phone my phone keeps going off ignore it okay anyway um so when when i do that i just plop the separate sequences down on onto this timeline so when i get ready to do the feature film a lot of times the feature film might have um part of the ceremony at the beginning like say the beginning of this feature film has them up doing their vows at the beginning so there's two ways you can do that. The problem in Premiere is if you double click a sequence over here, it just comes up and then you have to you have to uh cut and paste it. I'll show you. Like say you double click ceremony sync. Now see ceremony synced, this is the whole thing and there's their their part with their toe, you know, with their with their vows. But in order to take this say this small section, you would have to like split the section, go to the next bit split it again highlight all this right click choose pay, uh, copy and then go back over to your feature film and paste that in and then it's like multiple tracks so it doesn't really fit in the thing and it won't paste it into just these two or you have to uncheck these other things just to make it say okay I want it to paste it right here it's not as easy as just like dragging it from here to here so let's say you wanted to drag it from there to there right you can say well I'll just take the ceremony synced and drag it down here right now it's down here on the end of the timeline but look how long it is so say I wanted to do say her coming in say I wanted to do uh, say I wanted to go right from the toast or not toast but from the vows right here Say I wanted to go from the vows or say the unity candle and put that at the beginning and then later on I want to put her coming down, her coming in. So I got to cut this. Now I've got all this lead in clip and all this extra clip at the end and I've got all these other things that I'm having to shuffle around on the thing. And say I wanted to go from there to, um, I wanted to do like I did here. You see this toast, this section here is toast. I'm not holding all. This section here is the toes synced. So an easier way to do this, an easy way to do this in Premiere, which is really neat. Let me just delete this off the timeline. Uh, a cool way to do this in Premiere is to close your sequence. I I open I make a new sequence and I call it um, feature edit. So here's feature film. Then I'll new open up a new blank sequence and call it feature edit, or call it whatever you want. Let's just call it edit. We'll go file new sequence and we'll call it edit edit okay here's the edit sequence now it's an empty sequence and it's called edit now you see feature films here and edits here if you grab this tab tab with your left mouse button and drag it here it'll open up two separate sequences so now your main sequence is on the bottom the one you're editing your feature film and the one above it's here so now when you go over to to your ceremony uh, sync or say your toast so you go to your toes synced. You can grab these toes synced and drag it into this as one timeline. Now I can cut sections of it. So I can say, okay, right here, I want to take the part where, okay, where his dad's talking right here. I want to cut here. I want to stop here where he says something. And I want to drag this into this sequence. Now see, it leaves it up there, but it drags it down. So I can go through and cut little segments out of this sequence and say okay this I want this and then I want to go to the part where they're cake cutting and I want to cut from here to here it's edited with two cameras and the audio is mixed in I want to drag that down 
and now I can move that wherever I want. I can drag it on top. I can put. I I can move my clips around, and just drag them from one timeline to the other. So it makes it a whole lot more convenient. Just a neat way to edit, and it sure does save a lot of time if you wanted to put something, if you want to mix this stuff up. And you can also open more sequences inside of this edit sequence. So you can go introductions, dances. You can drag that down here, over here, stretch it out. Now I don't have. Now I'm going right above and below. I'm not having to scroll all the way down the timeline to find something. So if I go say to their first dance. Here's their first dance right here. They're kissing. This is a great shot. I want to take this. I want to take it right here. And I also want to take just the video. I can I can hold shit uh, control, click just the video or where is it alt alt. Let me click alt just the video and now drag just that video down. So see now I'm going now my timeline goes from this this heard talking to a shot of them doing their first dance. But then again, and kiss always gonna go get her. See? And then I can shorten it up and say, oh, perfect. So I wouldn't expect anything less. Anyways, I'm just... So, that's, that's how it works. It works perfect this way. And th that's what this is for. This is a... It's a really neat feature in Premiere to be able to do this. And I thought I'd share it with y'all today. So, that's my tutorial for today. So, have a good day. Thanks. Bye.